Hello. I'm very tired. And we need to talk about what happened to my Discord. And also scammers and bots and art. Everything I touch turns to shade. Everything I touch turns to shade. Oh yeah. Everything I touch turns to shade. And you don't care. Well, I've lost access to my Discord account, and as a result, all of the Discord channels uh, and my own Discord channel that I ran and was in, uh, for reasons that are dumb. The email that I originally registered with no longer exists, as the company no longer exists, and the company that handled the legacy email from the previous company also stopped supporting it with quite short notice uh, some time ago. I couldn't change the email because you need access to the original email in order to change to the new email. This didn't necessarily seem like a big deal because I could continue to log in using the old email and the password which I have. So I go to log in and it says we need to verify you. Okay, fine, I can do that. I can do verification by phone. It doesn't need to go to my email. However, at the second stage of verification, you have to enter your password again, which I can, but it then rejects that password, even though it's the correct old password because there are rules for what strength and so on of password you need to have have changed. So yes, that's right. They honor the old unchanged passwords to log in, but not to verify. Plus support won't talk to me unless I use the old email, which I can't do because I can't get access to the old email. So basically, I'm fucked. As such, I've created a new Discord account under the name Grimmer Chud, a typo which I thought was funny, so I kept it. And I've recreated my Discord channel under the new name of Postmortem Studios. Uh, the link below this video should be updated, or you can check my socials to find the links and so on as well. Now this happened right as I was trying to wrangle artists from an open art call I did for the run-in project. So, in other words, at the worst possible time. Uh, this is where we run into the second thing that has run me ragged. Normally when I post an open art call, I get no replies or a couple of replies from people who have drastically overestimated their talent and how much they can charge for their work, which is depressing in and of itself. Uh, this time I was absolutely inundated by both bots and scammers and more bots trying to direct me to someone to get my discord account back so fuck off I'm never <laughs> I'm never going to someone from a from a spam message about that that's just not gonna happen I may have lost actual artists in the middle of this scrum of people and bots trying to scam me both usually masquerading as attractive young women in the graphic design field all with very similar looking behance portfolios and who suspiciously have to get you to pay their friends paypal which just happens to belong to some swarthy dodgy looking guy operating out of karachi I, I hate turning people away and crushing their artistic hopes and dreams, but I hate being scammed much, much more. Some of these portfolios are pretty obviously AI generated, and while I don't have anything against using AI, I'll be fucked if I'm going to pay someone uh, a, a prompter for such art. Many of them also have vastly overinflated senses of what they can charge, going from thousands of dollars down to hundreds if you repeatedly say no, and uh, yeah, that's a warning sign as well. 
The whole thing has been a very stressful experience, all of these things at the same time, and it renders Twitter slash X virtually useless now as a way to find real human artists to commission, because you have to act like Sherlock fucking Holmes to find out if any of these motherfuckers are who they say they are, or Alan Turing to figure out if they're real people. I am stressed and annoyed and I hate scammers and I hate incompetence and stupidity so it has been a hell of a day and night dealing with all this shit. I've lost access to a huge chunk of online history and interaction with people on Discord. I've lost access to Discord channels of friends and co-workers who I now have to ironically convince that I'm a human being and I have to move an online community from one Discord channel to a new one. And you always lose people when you do that, even if it's just a couple of clicks to join the new channel. Uh, plus, I have to wrangle with uh, Mid Journey. I use that to produce thumbnails and things for a, for a lot of videos. So I have a subscription to that, which I can no longer access or cancel because I can't access my Discord account. And it just charged for a whole year. So that's going to be fun dealing with them. But the scammers, man. That's a whole new thing, and a hell of a difference between a couple of weeks ago when I did a different open art call to now. Weary Zang. Sup. I'm reliably informed that I'm terrible at pimping my stuff, so here I am, pimping my stuff. You can buy most of that shit that I make over at post-mort.com. Hope to see you there. Thank <laughs> you.